All right, everybody. Uh, I want to give you guys some recent updates on uh, the Stag Arms Model One AR15. So this is the Vortex Green and Red dot sight. Um, it, it the brightness is pretty good on it. Uh, the green dot um, is a little lighter than the uh, red dot only scope, but it, it gives you both. So I thought it was pretty cool. It has your elevation and windage adjustments. And the next newest addition was the you guys can get a good look at that that's a striker industries um charging handle and a better look at that and it's it's not bad it's almost like the stock charging handle but it looks a lot better and still aluminum the other thing was the striker industries safety switch uh definitely like this one uh, a lot better than the uh, stock one and it's not um ambidextrous enough but uh i like it so hopefully uh, that'll work out pretty well for me. Um, this is the Magpul Trigger Guard. And it's a little something different on this. And I'll show you guys. Hopefully I can get a nice little picture. Um, it actually has a, if you can kind of see it, Punisher logo. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, did some different things with the coloring. Um, Stag Arms, New Britain, Connecticut, USA. Colored the uh, model stack 15 uh, caliber 556 five, and the safety and the fire switch. I did it on both sides. Uh, another new addition was the Magpul handguards, and that's MOE handguard and that's the uh, MOE foregrip. Love it, more tactical, a lot better. Um, if you guys saw my recent vids, this was uh, a bipod with the stock handguards. And I had a 3 to 9 power scope from Nikon 223 uh, bullet drop compensator uh, scope. Uh, sold that and then purchased this. The flashlight still you know, the same. Um, and the fake can from Spikes Tactical. Uh, I think it makes it look a lot better. Um, you know, those are the, you know, the MOE hand guard, the grip, the uh, trigger guard, the uh, safety switch, and the... Um, the uh, charger handle and most likely the bad lever as well as the newest additions you know I've been had the Magpul and bus sights um, the Maya grip I had that um, you know P mags with the uh, Ranger clips and all that so all this stuff is uh, oh this is another new addition I forgot about this this is the fab defense stock I think it's a Mako stock uh, like it a lot better than the uh, the regular Magpul M08. So this is a little different. It has the Magpul furniture, which I changed to, but doesn't have the stock. So I definitely like this stock a lot better. Um, definitely softer here um, and more grip as well. So five position stock. Um, like it. Love it. So that's pretty much it. Uh, kind of in my closet here. Just, you know, these are some extra mags with some ammo. Uh, I got my Beretta 96FS, the uh, 1911 Colt on uh, government GSE, I believe. Uh, and then, obviously, the cream of the crop here. If I can get a zoom in on that, hopefully I can get a... Yeah, that 50 AE Desert Eagle. So, most people should know what that is. And if you don't, it's probably a problem. So, if I can get a... Can I get a nice picture of that? Man, it's just not focusing. That is horrible. You know, I really like to focus on that, and it's just not. So, uh, horrible video right now. Uh, but, that's what I got. This is also some some stuff I got on the rack. Uh, hopefully, this video is not too dark. I'm not dealing with too much light in here. Um, but, you know, it's kind of a custom rack I did. I like it. Um, you know, maybe in the future I'll get a gun case, but I really don't need it right now. No, no kids or anything like that running around where they can easily access this stuff. And most of the times I can lock it up in my closet. So, um, but yeah, hopefully you guys like that. Um, you know, any comments, suggestions, uh, hopefully I got it to as tactical as it's going to be uh, at this point. The only thing I think I'm going to add next is the, oh, I can focus on this. There's a, this, this uh, magazine release. Right here, there's one that says uh, zombie 
uh, outbreak response team so I think that's gonna be pretty cool um, then there's uh, on the other side of that the mag release button uh, I'll probably get something with a logo on that so I think that'll be pretty cool um, so just dressing it up right now but as far as as tactical is gonna get with the M bus sites and the red dot uh, red and green dot so hopefully you guys will like please subscribe uh, I'll probably do some videos uh, did get a new purchase in and I'll probably do a video of that later and that's the uh, Smith and Wesson no I'm sorry that's horrible I didn't get the Smith and Wesson I got the um, the XDS uh, 45 slim um, so that one is pretty nice uh, so hopefully uh, it's got a lot of kick though but hopefully it serves me well it's a lot better than carry so hopefully you guys like this man um, and please give me some comments you know see if you guys have some similar uh, AR uh, components that I put on here and see how they work out